Hello friends, welcome to IT Kabul channel. Today we'll uh, discuss about uh, making a website, uh, online delivery website. So uh, before I start the making the website, I will show you a demo of this website. So as you can see, this is the website and I have uh, added four navigation here and I, uh, as well as I have added uh, hover in the navigation bar. And this is the services. Uh, so and also our services and here uh, I have added also a contact form so this is fully responsive website in a different devices so let's go and start making this website so as you can see I have uh, created uh, three folders here uh, because this website is a little bit uh, larger that's why I have created a folder for each uh, uh, images because it will create a, uh, a lots of confusion so I will right click here and open with code studio text editor I have Microsoft Visual Studio text editor you can do it with notepad notepad plus plus uh, notepad plus 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 or any other text editor so I will just open with uh, select here open with code studio in order to access this folder inside this editor okay so friends as you can see these folders are here so these folders are here and I will just create uh, click on new file and here I will create index.html then I'll uh, then you guys should press shift and one and enter this ready made boiler place of this text editor will come for you guys and from here change the title to my online mail mill so in here we will create a nav and for my nav I will add a id nav bar so inside this nav bar I will add a logo so I will create a logo also def for adding a logo I, will, I have to create a what a div and I will add an id for this div logo so inside this uh, logo I will add a um, uh, logo img I will say and the uh, img I will write the path of this uh, logo so I will say logo dot png control s and open with live server let's see as you can see uh, guys the picture is added all as well as the title is also changed so let's go ahead the next thing I will add a ul an order list ul and inside this ul i will add a li list inside this list i will add a a hand hanker tag i will say here home and i will just copy this paste it here four times so I'll copy it now from here change the content uh, about as services contact for uh, contact uh, sorry let's see now and here you are this is also added so let's go now
so uh, let's create a CSS file inside this CSS folder I will create a CSS by the name of style.css and in here I will add an external CSS you can do it with no, uh, internal CSS also so I will just simply say link and in the link I will just say uh, CSS and style.css in HRF we have a folder by the name of CSS and in the, inside this folder we have a file of CSS style.css so as you can see it's connected now control S <laughs> let's see now I'll just test the CSS uh, body background background I will say uh, blue so as you can see background is added here now I confirm that it's connected with my uh, HTML file now I will come to here and in here first of all I will um, set the padding and margin to 0 so by the help of uh, universal selector I will do this I will say margin 0 pixel padding 0 pixel and the next thing so I will come for the nav as you can see nav is here so I will just simply say here nav bar and this flex so here you can see the nav is camp here <laughs> now let's bring them bring them into the center into the here so I'll say justify content center control s oh sorry uh, align items align item center as you can see it's added here now the next thing thing that we need here what we need to do here nav is completed let's come for the logo <coughs> so in the logo here I will say logo margin 2 pixel and from top and bottom it's 2 pixel and from right to left it's uh, 4 pixel so as well as I'll add logo and inside logo we have IMG so margin for this I will uh, also set 2 pixel uh, top and bottom and 10 pixel left and right let's set the weight also so I will say the weight should be 50 pixel and here you are so weight is also set let's go as you can see here now what we need here let's come for the list this list so for this list I will first of all select this UL so we have done with 
logo also with image also now it's time for ul and the ul <coughs> i will say ul display flex and here you are display flex it's changed now what we need to do next we need to remove these dots from here so i will say list style none let's see dot is removed also now we need to add padding so to add padding i'll add it in a so before that i'll come to li ul li so this is ul and this is li so what i will do i will just copy this one and i will add it here and same ul li and a anchor tag in here i will say text decoration you know uh, these underline is called text decoration so i will set text decoration to none so text decoration is removed now let's add padding from top to bottom i will add 8 pixel but uh, padding and from left to right i will add 22 pixel and here you are now let's add a font size also so i will add the font size in ul font size to uh 1.5 rem and let's decrease the size of padding to 18 so found is also added ul li is also added now what we next need here uh, let's add a border reduce also 10 pixel the next thing that we need here let's add a hover for this also so i will say ul li a and hover i will say change the color to black and change the background to white as you can see color has changed hover is added and i will set i will later set the color so now the nav part is finished let's add and add a tag of section here and provide the id for the section home and inside this home first of all i will add a, a pitch background or oh, let's add so i will add a heading and add a, a class for this heading 
h i will add the class name to h primary and in here right will come to my online mail next add a uh, paragraph also p so in the paragraph just write down low rim so i come to here and come on place toggle wrap and what i will do i'll just delete this much from this and i will copy this control c control v control s let's see now as you can see this is also added <laughs> okay now we need to add a button also here below this a uh, paragraph we need to add a button so i will say button and i will add a uh, class for this button btn and here i will say order now control s and order now is added now let's add a background for this navigation for the nav bar for this nav bar here for this i will add a background so i will just say hash nav bar by the help of sudo selector b for so i will say content blank background black position absolute width 100% height 100% and z index let's see before we add them as you can see background is added so let's bring the content in front of this background i will say z index into minus 1 control s and these are the content also add a set opacity of op opacity to 0.4 control s and you can see background is added now come here in the nav bar and in here set the position to relative control s and here you are 